Hello, I'm Jonathan O'Toole. I'm here in Katogo, in Kampala, in Uganda, with my good friends at Feed the Streets Foundation. Feed the Streets Foundation. Grace? Yes. Madam Grace, hello. How are you? I'm Juju. How are you? Hello, Juju. So, we just want to greet all of you and, and talk a little bit about what Feed the Streets Foundation is doing here in Katogo neighborhood, and who is here, and what it's all about. Yes. So let's welcome. talk. Welcome. It's a lovely place. So uh, we are here. We are sharing the gospel. <laughs> we are sharing with the with the kids. So we are on uh, on Wednesday and Sunday. We give out food for the body and soul, mm. meaning the gospel and a, a meal. So our kids get something to to to, to crunch on, and they, and also we share a lot of other different gifts. So you uh, you're welcome to be part of us here thank in Uganda, so Katogo, Grace. Ah, thank you so much. Let's sit down with Juju, and with Grace, and with the others, and and just talk about what's happening here. All right. So we're here at Katogo once again. I'm Jonathan O'Toole. Yeah. On my right here is uh, Madam Grace. Nice yes. And Juju, my good friend Juju of Feed the Streets Foundation. And you might hear some noises in the background. There's some conflict going on on the streets behind us. Try to ignore. If, if it sounds like maybe I'm yelling or we're yelling, we're just trying to push our voices so that we can be heard in the middle of these streets. These are, from what I've been led to understand, I've only visited here two days now, very briefly. But these are streets full of conflict, full of addiction, full of uh, people who are destitute. And many, 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 many innocent children caught up in that net. Feed the Streets Foundation is ministering to those people, not only with, with food, food for the children, but also food for their spirits and their souls. And so I think I'll turn the floor to Madam Grace and, and Juju. Uh, Grace, I know you have three children living here. Within the building, of the streets foundation. We have uh, Winnie, one with Betty, another one called Jovan, and another one called Simon. Betty, Jovan, and Simon. Yes. So uh, the way we found them is uh, they came for they came in for a meal. Like for example, Betty. Betty came in for a meal and she told me, you know what, Auntie, I don't have any clothes. You can you share with me some clothes? And I'm like, how come you don't have any clothes? You are very young. You Girl, where do you stay? And she's like, no, I'm, I'm homeless. I don't have a home. And I'm like, how can you not have a home? You're only nine. Yeah. Like, what's going on? Yeah. So finding out the backstory of where Betty comes from is a home full of domestic violence. Mom is addicted to alcohol. Because in here, people tend to give up. Yeah, give up hope. Yeah, they are just out of it. And they're like... Come what may, yeah. so that's what made him home ended up lunch. And every time she went back home, she was beaten, literally a week ago. She came with a bloody shot. By her mother. By her mother. Yeah. So her mother came here and, and, and said to me, okay, you know what? Take over and do what you need. I'm, I'm yeah. done with the kids. And I'm like, you can't. So when, when Grace is saying Betty was, was beaten, and we don't want to embarrass Betty, but it's the truth. It doesn't mean she did wrong and she was given a spanking. She was beaten bloody. Yes. I'm telling you she was beaten yeah, bloody. bloody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's that dangerous. Mm. I also know to myself, okay, yeah, we can't let this happen and do nothing. So if she'd rather stay here and she's safer, mm. also uh, sometimes next week we're going to take them to a school. At least so that she's there then, because she she's not going to school. Mm. She's probably been going three days without a meal. Mm. So this place is for kids like that. In a serious situation. Yeah. yeah. Because actually, as I was growing up as well, I grew up in a place like this. That's what you were telling me. Yes. Yeah. This directly connects to your testimony yeah, exactly. and the way you grew up. Yes, I grew up in a place like this. Our biggest challenge was food. Mm. All my friends, all my peers mm -hmm. that I was close to in that time, I was 12, 13. All my friends, the boys went into theft, mm. the girls went into prostitution, mm. and most of them ended up dead. Mm. Most of them ended up dead. So one time I was, it was New Year's, I spoke to God, and I'm like, Father, if you ever get me out of here, I'll give back to you somehow. 
So this is why we have this whole one. And it's not just food, like a plate of food, it's food for the body and soul. And the soul. Yes. Yeah. We also gather mothers and send and uh, have preachers here, tell them to speak well onto their children, give them confidence. So you talk to the parents, you talk to the parents too. Yes, yeah. so that the home becomes better. Mm. When the mom is dealt with, I believe yeah. the home becomes much better. Mm. Yes. So we speak to mothers, we speak, help out the children, and we yeah. are here for God. As long as God guides me, I'm here to deal with it. Could, could, you, could you call Betty? Could we could we her for just a moment? Yes. She's here. Hi, Betty. And, and while she's on the way, I, let's talk with uh, Juju, my brother here. How did you get involved? Juju, first of all, you were telling me you were maybe in Rwanda, you were a reggae and dance artist. How did you get to the point from being a, a dance and reggae artist, pushing secular music, to being here at Feed the Streets Foundation? I, I, I wanted to do something for God. For God? Yeah. yeah. A purpose. Yeah. Not just live in the world and just yeah. do things. This is, this is the way to, 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 to give back to God. Um, to, uh, yeah. yeah. It's a bit of way. Hey, it's because wonderful. I've, uh, I've discovered some things. I wish I knew about them before. Yeah. Um, but it's not too late now. It's not too late. <laughs> so, we are here to let the people know about God. Yes. They get the food, but the main thing is God. The secret about God. That God is there. God that God is, is there. real. God yeah. is real. And I've seen it from the first day I do. I was just here for a few minutes. Yep. And and uh, uh, Esther, our friend, our mutual friend Esther, brought brought me here. But and I, even just being here for five minutes the other day, I felt the spirit yep. of what you're doing here. Yep. Yeah. Even I, I, I love this journey. The journey is looking good because uh, we're seeing the presence of God. Amen. God is walking. Amen. God is real. Amen. He's real, like real. God, there's deliverance there. Yeah. People are getting delivered from witchcraft. Wonderful. So it's it's not something that you you just see and you don't pay attention because God is showing you there. It's showing you there. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Life is very strange, yeah. but it's not by accident. No, no, no. That's what I know in my spirit. Yeah. It's not by accident. And just to take time to show these children that, that God is real, He cares about them, it's so important. Uh, children's Church, when I was small, yeah. they put me in Children's Church. And it, it affected me. To this day, the songs we sang, the things we did, it affects who I am. They say the child is the father of the man. Yep. The child is the father of the man. Yep. And that child sitting in children's church gave birth to the to man I am father. today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I really hear you loud and clear. Sister Betty. Yes. She's a beautiful girl. She's very, very respectful. When I first came here uh, just a few days ago, she greeted me immediately, very humbly, and bowed before me. Yes. So we are going to, we are going to do our master's there. If we are able to afford our boarding school, we will send her in there. If we are able to just get her on school, we are going to do what we can. So we are here for kids like this. We also sign on. Simon. Simon, come, come, come. And Betty is one of the children uh, who, are, who are actually living here. Betty will stand behind me. So, Simon's story was quite interesting. I found him on the street mm. as I was branching off the main road. Simon refused to get out of the way. So standing in the road. Standing yeah. literally in front of the car. He refused to get out of the way. Mm. I'm like, what's wrong with this kid? How come he's not scared? He's not caring about his, his life. Yeah. Like, what, what is happening to him? Yes. I realized that. That. Yeah. I was so like I wanted to find out about him. I wanted yeah. to find out about what could be on his mind mm. that gets him like that. Mm. So I packed the car and then later she was for me. Uh, we ended up here mm. later on. But the thing is that Simon had this look in his eyes that he had given up. Like he was frustrated. Kind of wanted to walk into the world. Mm -hmm. 
sort of food. You was ready for, for something for to be over. Yeah. Exactly. So going back to Cyprus, going back to the house, yeah. every day was a beating, every day. Yeah. All right, so we've stepped a l away from the din and the, and the loud noises just, yeah. to, just to talk a little bit uh, with two very beautiful young people here with us. This, yeah. is, this is Simon. Simon. Mm. Simon. Simon is one of our kids, yes. in house kids. Uh, he's uh, the first kid we found. He's the first one. He's the first okay. one. He's the big brother of oh. everybody else that will be. Coming. So and right now, he, he lives there at, at Feed the Streets Foundation. Yeah, he lives here at the center. It's um, not yet like the proper best place for a child to live, sure. but we have to make it work because he, he was staying outside in those sofas they fix outside, so they keep them on display and once in a while he would skip into one sofa or another and then sometimes he's chased like a thief or whatever. So Simon He's chased like a thief, mm. yeah. Because they don't know, they don't know who they are dealing with. Of and, course. And he's just trying to probably put his head down. So I found Simon. So yes, please continue with this, the story of, of Simon. Of Simon. I found Simon one day I was uh, driving by and I stopped at a certain spot. And then I'm like, you know what? There's this kid that doesn't want to get out of the way. How come he doesn't want to get out of the way? Like, what's the problem? But in his eyes, there was this look of I don't care, of, of I give up, I'm done. Mm -hmm. So I parked the car and then later on I asked my friends, my people that I work with here and I'm like, you know what guys, find this kid, find him. Mm -hmm. Why is it that he will not get out of the road? Why is it like he has given up? What is, mm -hmm. what seems to be the problem with such a young child? So you sought him out? Mm. Yeah. Because I have never seen that that look on a child i've seen it on elder people yeah where you feel like okay yeah they've probably gone through so much but what about a child a small child who seems to have, have given, given up on life yeah exactly so when i went down to find out what's wrong with simon simon lives with his stepmother simon's stepmother every time he enters the house the yeah. kid is beaten yeah. and he runs away Oh. And if he has to get something to, to eat, he will pick a few bottles, plastic bottles, gather them. But then to get something to eat is probably impossible, mm -hmm. next to impossible. So what we did, we started with Simon. I told him, it's okay, come. We started getting new clothes. We started trying. Simon, smile. <laughs> He, he before he could not smile. Yeah. I don't know. Like he has, a, he has a good smile. <laughs> yeah, I was always looking for his smile, mm. but he couldn't smile. But I'm happy now. It there's a glimpse. Yeah. That, Your name is? Akampulia. Akampulia. Puria. Akampulia. We're here with uh, we're here with Juju and Akampulia. Okay. And uh, this young gentleman is joining us today. Yes, yeah, he's joining us today. Yes. He's joining us today. On Wednesday, we have uh, we invite the single parents, the mom with kids. Oh, yes. Especially for the ladies. Because we found out that once you fix the home, you still have to start with the, the mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the mom, the mom stays with the kids. Yeah. So basically, today, they preach to them. Yeah. And also the kids, they get to know about God, so that's the all setting up. Wonderful. Yep. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming and talking with us okay. today. We really appreciate it. Can you smile? I'm happy to see you. Okay, let's go enjoy the food.